They'll be calling you a radical. So back to this epic, epic, epic news that is breaking. So I just got off the phone up in uh, Washington. Just got off the phone. And so with fishermen, the lifeline, you know, I, I'm connected big time up there. These guys are easily, they are flipping their lids. They're freaking out big time. This is, I mean, it just confirms all my work. It confirms the greatest event in human history, Fukushima meltdown. Everybody says, overfishing, please. The overfishing killed the fucking tide pools. That's what killed the fucking tide pools, huh? No, 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 no. This is not a record escapement. That record, and I want to say this about the, they've been dying for years fallacy. Tide pools were dying before, Santa Claus before fallacy, lie, lie. We have video proof before and after of the tide pools all up and down the coast of California, Oregon, you know, Canada, we, my videos, they're so alive, look like a Frank Stella painting. After Fukushima, dead or fuck. The salmon of the smoking gun. Their test nets for the first time in history come up here. They run it through three times. He says, point blank, we got something wrong with our equipment. We're shocked. No, they're not baffled, they're not puzzled. They're not stumped. They're not perplexed anymore. They're shocked now. This is a major, major fucking story. I'm telling you. And so the fishermen are calling up there. They're flipping out. Well, uh, because they're in fucking denial. We'll quote her from the Battle of Chernobyl. The worst thing to come out of that cover, that meltdown at Chernobyl was not cesium iodine, plutonium, it was lies. Kevin Blanche, the worst thing that came out of the Fukushima meltdown was not cesium, iodine, plutonium, plutonium, it was denial. You've let this thing go on and on to where it's completely out of control, it's too late, the point of fucking no return on fucking Balco. Ophelia, huh, I have a tale to tell, so, and I'm gonna tell the fucking tale as I live to fucking tell. You weren't ready for the fucking writing on the wall. You're too blind to see the fucking writing on the wall. You couldn't fucking handle it. I have a fucking tale to tell. The song was written for Ophelia. Wow. I have some room for you and I have some for me. But you must wear yours with a different old person despite that I was ever born. You know, this set me on this path. We we're talking about it last night as it light the night. One of the most spiritual, powerful days of my life, six years. Yesterday, I was giving too much to live. It was so powerful. So, in the survival circle, they have survival circles, you know, our life. You wouldn't believe that energy in there. Oh, my God. You know, of course, Marshall's wife spoke, you know, and a little child, I picked him up, carried him. You mean, he was playing around with me. He says, I can't believe you just give me a big kiss, he said. So, it's a big, big deal. It's a catastrophe. These test nets are coming up zero. They go to sea for five years, they should know. And just like I said, they'll start to collapse in 2016. And again, this is important. Oh, did I live to tell? Do I have a fucking tell to tell? I'll feel you. <laughs> you know? Oh, did you fucking gang rape the Pacific Ocean? American populace has a lot of fucking guilt here. A lot of blood on their hands. I'm telling you. Scientists and scumbags mystified about their, I mean, these are hardcore fucking criminals that need to be rounded up. Marine biologists that are paid to do this, NOAA, you know, why are their fucking models not work? And mine did. Because I plugged in Fukushima. I did the greatest PhD in human history, the Great Pacific Genocide. You can go to now, right down to my fucking cancer, all of it, the entire, what incredible path. And I'm to the point, I don't give a fuck who watches my videos anymore. I'm recording history because none of you are going to do anything anyway. You know, it's too late, baby. You know, my activism will go on. You know, and if you want to support this activist, then do it. You know, it's important. If you want to be part of this, then do it. Otherwise, whatever. You know, I'm tired of all the fucking bullshit and all the fucking YouTube and the fairy tale fucking make shit up, fucking trying to crowd this space, but that's what libraries do. They're going to look back at you because you branded yourself in history and so did I. This is a major, major fucking epidemic. You know, I'll tell you what. I hid behind the curtain and I saw what they did and now who they are, I feel you. 
because it gets ready to pound freaking England. I got news, Fukushima's going to start pounding you in Ireland. Fucking, I'm a Kavanaugh guy, kind of plain. All of you, you loved your cow, you loved your fucking fly. Your ultimate dream was laid by that stream. And wipe your arse with that perennial grass, you self-indulged, ignorant fucking fisherman asshole, scientist, marine biologist, Noah, fuck it, every one of you fucking crooks. Every one of you marine biologists ought to be so fucking ashamed of yourself, you fucking scumbag. We could have done something about this. We really could have. Is it too late, baby? Oh, it's too fucking late. You know, I live to tell. Too blind to see the writing on the wall. Not ready for the fall. The fishermen up there are flipping their fucking lids. I've been talking to you today. They're going crazy. And, by the way, 30 years ago today, right here, I was right here, standing right here. I was standing right here 30 years ago on Black Tuesday when the stock market crashed, when Reagan named and ran Greenspan to the Fed. This cultural fucking slag goes into fucking earnest. What a fucking week we're going to have this week. G's going to miss earnings. It's going to start the fucking collapse. Now remember, GE is the corruption of Fukushima. GE is the cover-up of Fukushima. GE is, I did all this work in the Battle of the Beast. 40 years it'll be this week when Van Zandt's plane crashed and this cultural fucking slide started. Ophelia? Oh, curse and spite that I was ever born to fucking set this fucking right. I have some room for you, but I have some me, but I already took mine. I fucking got loaded up so hard with fucking chemo. The fight is the fucking life. <laughs> I'm fucking real. Oh, I know who you are, and I saw what you fucking did. Some poison in my father's fucking ear? You underestimated me. You underestimated my fucking work, and my work will fucking stand as an historical document to your fucking blood and your fucking guilt. Because you stood by and watched her get gang raped on your selfish arrogance. My fish. That's what they'll tell you in Oregon. Oh, our fish. They ain't your fucking fish. They come there and spawn. Hmm. That movie was set in Oregon. They'll feel you. Fire. We fight fire with fire. Huh. Denial is what you fucking fight it with. Me, 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 selfish. This is such a bit. I mean, it's, it's probably, well, it's the smoking gun. Oh, it's been overfished. The fallacy. This has been going on for years. It's a fucking lie. Total lie. This all happened post Fukushima. Fuck it. 2,400 and I believe 12 fucking days today. Full blown out meltdowns pouring into the Pacific fucking ocean. There's no consequence for that. That is the definition of fucking ignorance and arrogance. The definition of fucking self indulged. Me, me, me. Generational arrogance. Organized religion. But this is even worse than that. Who go me not? I was in Oregon also. Archie Mitchell on a Sunday. That Fugo bomb. Oh, they fugo you. I tried. I tried. You know, future generations will mitigate. And they'll go back to my fucking videos and my work. You can't argue now. This collapse on the salmon is in earnest. It is epic. Now, where's the Endangered Species Act? Where is the fucking Endangered Species Act? Where the fuck is it at? These are violations. Trump's a scumbag just like Obama. Fucking scumbags. You know what scumbags? Marine Bio, Oregon State, the biggest scumbags. Fucking. Just like a fucking new skull. Little Nuki never hurt anybody, you fucking low-life, welfare-mooching scum. Marine biologists, fucking every single one of them should be fucking round up and tried. I mean, this is fucking, this is the greatest event in human history. The Great Pacific Genocide. So, as it happened, as it happens, there is PhD in human history. My cancer fight's over. Yours is just be fucking gun. Stand tuned.